my name is Nicole Laurent, and I'm the chapter leader of uh, the Washington chapter of Represent Us. And when I'm not doing that, I'm also a mental health therapist. And part of being a mental health therapist is you become very attuned to creating spaces in which people are able to move forward and grow and feel safe. Um, a big part of my job is helping people move away from beliefs, thoughts, experiences that um, just don't serve them anymore, right? You have to move out of rigidity and move towards growth. So I'm particularly attuned to environments in which it is not a safe space for people to grow. And one of those, uh, one of those is the use of the word bipartisan as opposed to nonpartisan in a lot of political discussions. So as a represent us leader, we go to a lot of different events and we table, and I get to sit down with a lot of people. And uh, in particular, tabling is really interesting because people will walk up to the table very intent about telling us about how the other party is corrupt, how the other party is the problem, how their team is doing okay and doing the best they can because those other guys, right, are, are the big issue. And what we have to do is we have to kind of remind them, um, you know, that not everybody's part of your partisan viewpoint, right? There's over 40% of independents in this country right now. And when we are in public spaces or we are in a convention like this, there is a huge missed opportunity to bring those people into the conversation. In fact, it's quite exclusionary to use the, you know, the term bipartisan when there's the opportunity to say nonpartisan. If I'm sitting in the audience and I'm an independent um, and they're talking about bipartisan change, am I going to feel included as part of the reform in my democracy? Probably not, right? And so this is really important. And so, you know, the other thing about being a therapist that's interesting is you know a lot about human development. You know a lot about, you know, how human, you know, human behavior and thought processes and that sort of thing. And I, I totally get it. I mean, we are evolutionarily wired to think of people who we are in conflict with as the other, right? There was, there was definitely some survival value in that for sure. Um, but it, the problem with that is in order to protect this movement, which I think of, you know, therapists use lots of crazy language like sacred, you know. <laughs> I think this movement is sacred and a really important part of our democracy. And in order to protect that, um, we really need to transcend that tendency that we have in order to see the other. It's time to evolve, right? It's time to move past that. The problem with people thinking in teams is that it blinds them to the wrongdoing that's going on in their team, on their, on their side of the team. They're making excuses for the stuff that's going on, and they become cognitively hyper-focused on what the wrongs that are being done on the other side, right? And that's a problem because if, if you're a politically active person or you consider yourself a politically active person, and you're so busy with the team thing, you're just really not going to be able to focus on the issue of the system. And that is what we are trying to protect here is this movement of, of fixing our system. No matter who runs, no matter from what partisanship, right? So if I think, let's say I think my party you know, my party is great and my party is doing the best that it can, well then I'm kind of blind to the problem, right? I become blind to the problem. And that's what this movement is all about and, and represent us. That campaign in particular is very near and dear to my heart because I really see it from a systems perspective. And I see it as having the potential to move us out of these black and white thinking patterns about teams and the other guys and how it's their problem. Now, I, you know, I want to say that we have the opportunity when we go out into the world to make safe spaces for nonpartisanship and for bringing people into the movement and for helping people evolve past that black and white thinking, that picking of teams, right? And so how do we do that? 
one of the ways uh, that we that we do that is we are very you know when someone st you know walks up to a table or walks up to where we are and starts talking about the other guys, it's really important, even if it's gonna make them a little mad, right? To say, oh, and I also know that this other side has a problem with this, right? Both sides have an issue with big money and politics. And so what I wanted to, let me just do this part really quick. Um, and what I wanted to really challenge everyone here today is to go home have conversations, and be mindful of your own black and white thinking. Catch yourself talking, you know, smack about the other team and correct yourself and talk about how it's the system. Thank you. Thank you.